This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. say this is super exciting to me if you're not subscribed to the channel maybe you could consider doing it just in case uh, you're interested in either katana videos modeling videos guitar lessons all that sort of stuff uh, it's all on this channel if you want it not obligatory but uh, you know an option uh, if you wanted to like and subscribe leave a comment all that sort of stuff it does just help these videos have a bit of a longer life Anyway, right, I'm very excited by this discovery today. So I was looking up some stuff on Reddit about the Boss Katana the other day and found a, a resource which kind of mentioned this thing called Sneaky Amps. And um, if you've not looked this up, maybe you could consider doing it. But essentially, some of the other videos that I've done for Boss, by the way, have been sponsored. This one's not. And I don't know if they want people to know about this sort of stuff or not, but I think it could really unlock some real potential in your katana um, particularly if you're into i don't know maybe some different styles of music so maybe you're into more variety of clean edge of breakup tones or maybe you're into even more heavy music than what the boss katana kind of implies so essentially what this sneaky amps thing is is that somewhere in the the brain of the katana essentially is something like a boss gt1 and there are actually 29 amps in there that are potentially available and the way that I accessed these was via a gum town and there's this um, Boss Katana effects floorboard thing 
Uh, so some clever bloke has put together an editor where you can access all of this stuff. And it's also an editor that I think is a little bit more intuitive than the Boss Tone Studio stuff. Um, so it's kind of a bonus in that way. It's got these kind of, uh, essentially it sort of represents the actual effects there. So all I've done is just plug a laptop into the Boss Katana and you can access these things. So what I was using in the introduction there, for the clean tone, I was using a Fender Twin emulation, which is somewhere in the brains of the Boss Katana. And then for the lead tone, the first one, I was using uh, a Marshall Plexi Jumped, which is also in the brains there of the uh, Katana. And something, you know, a little bit closer to an Eric Johnson tone than maybe is hidden in uh, the, the front panel of the Katana. Um, what it also gives you access to is kind of uh, some EQs and stuff that are actually available in the Tone Studio as well. But I thought this was really exciting for me because it enabled me to dial in some things that I've been kind of hoping to, but maybe hadn't quite got there with. And it also helped me then to get some good stuff back out of the, the stock amps, if that makes sense. So for instance, I've got here, this is my kind of lead that I dialed in with the uh, Marshall. Thing is, you could also then dial back the booster. So I'm using the Distortion Plus, which is like a, um, the MXR. but it responds really nicely without that on as well. And then you could bring it back in uh, if you're wanting some more, um, you know, bring it in gradually. Then as a result of that, I actually thought, well, what does it sound like compared to the normal lead out? Which I also think sounds really good. bring in some of that booster again. And then the clean tone was something sort of Eric. Um, maybe a little bit too dark. The old sleeve. What's really exciting about this is that there's new possibilities that I wasn't aware of in the Katana that are really easy to get access to um, and quite easy to edit. I'm not necessarily having to just uh, use my imagination too much. I can think, well, what did these people use? And there's a choice now of 29 amps to get into, as well as there's actually a Mesa Boogie on there now as well, uh, the Boogie Lead. <laughs> You 
you're hearing all of that through the Mesa Boogie Mark III cabinet uh, and speaker in there as an eminence EV kind of neo clone. Um, but yeah, I think I'm really enjoying some of these tones and for sure those are things that I would use a ton. So I consider maybe if you've not checked this out, this sneaky amps thing I think is worth a look because it could unlock some things in the Katana that until now you've not really known was in there. Um, and I think it's definitely a, a, a new way to, it's not even new is it, people have known about this for ages, new for me. Uh, you may have already known about this, leave a, a comment below if you have. Um, but yeah, Gum Town I think it's called. Katana Mark II FX Floorboard. Um, I don't know, I'm really <laughs> excited by that. Uh, sounds pretty cool in the room, able to get the feedback thing going on. And uh, yeah, great fun. Um, let me know your thoughts on the old sneaky amps thing in the comments. Let me know as well, do you want me to upload these tones somewhere? I'm not sure if I can put them up as a tone set, I'm not sure. I'll maybe ask and see what boss think. I don't know. Catch you in another video soon. Cheers.